what would you do or what could you do or what would you want to do as far as improving the education system in Dallas? Well, when we go out from an economic development perspective and we try to sell a company on coming here, they deal with the business attitude, the business pieces of it. Mm -hmm. Uh, they talk about the cost of living, the cost of doing business, tax rates, all those sorts of things. And then you have to move over to the quality of life issues. You, if, if you don't do that, if you don't talk about the parks and the recreation and the opera and the theater and the culture and the education, you don't get them. Uh, the ISD in particular has gone through some tough times from a reputational standpoint in Dallas. But they've turned a lot of that around. Uh, they have a lot of their schools are rated exemplary. They've got a lot of them rated superior. The problem is, I think, from a PR perspective, a lot of people in their minds still think all the schools must not be good. And so we have to get that messaging out. I think we have to do some marketing. We also need to engage the entire community. It can't just be the city of Dallas. It can't just be DISD trying to talk to each other and figure out how we can do it better because the city has no authority over the school district. So it's got to be a cooperative effort. I think we need to engage the corporate community. Uh, some of that has happened already. Uh, Atmos Energy, as an example, is working with DISD to enhance the, what I call, curb appeal of the schools by getting the students engaged in going out and planning landscaping and so forth. So when they go to school, it looks nicer. And you know what? The attitude of the kids change. Uh, one of the biggest things that I'd like to see happen is get some really top-notch people that understand how to move education forward in the principal's connect positions in every one of the schools in the city. We've got some great ones. I've been over to Kimball. The principal there has totally turned the, the attitude and the scholastic level of those students around. We just need to replicate people like him and make sure that every school has somebody like that. How can the city uh, impact that? I think if you brought the right people to the table, you could focus some of that private energy and resources in talent toward helping move the district forward without the district having to spend hard dollars. You said you'd use your bully pulpit to improve education, to focus on education. What particulars? Uh, the, um, uh, probably three things. I, I, I do believe that DISD performs far better than what it gets credit for. I also believe that uh, like almost any um, uh, education for young people. The key is parental involvement and, it, and if parents get involved in their uh, child's education, their ch children can get a very good education in DISD. So that would be one thing is just make sure that, you know, that message is, is an accurate message and it's delivered. Uh, I'm a strong believer in after school programs because in the absence of parental involvement or parents that are working, uh, that's it's probably as close as you can get to so where a child has a safe place to come after school and they get people that uh, uh, can help them with their homeworks and give them access to computers. And the, uh, uh, the third thing, I would work to get greater um, business involvement in the schools. That's uh, uh, both investing uh, their money and time and energy and giving their employees uh, time and really make it a priority to try to uh, uh, get as many mentors and, and people that are read to kids and, and encourage them and support them. Would that be one of your priorities in the budget to do city money f to help fund after school programs? Y yes, I, I, you know, a lot of times, uh, yeah, I, I, I've, um, as, as, as a police chief, I took that on as a priority and, and, and always advocated the, the after school networks and uh, when my wife wanted to get involved in nonprofits, I told her that there are nonprofits where you're going to meet a lot of important people, and you can, uh, uh, and, and there's recognition by being on them. But I, what I most suggested with the Jefferson Street Learning Center, which is a uh, after-school program in one of the toughest parts of the city, and I told her that. Uh, you'll know every single kid by name. Success will be personal, and 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 you just can see the. Uh, um, it, it's something that, you know, you know it, it's a relative few dollars and, and the return on investment is really significant. Education, what can the mayor do and what would you do to help improve education in the city of Dallas? Education we have to have, again, my thing is, let's embrace, because DIS is, this, is a separate political subdivision. Now, BJ, do you know 
the DISD tax rate, there are 16 school districts in, in the Dallas County area. Do you know where DISD stands in their tax rate in that school district? They are number 14. They are no, if you look at the tax rate of DISD compared to the so other school district that they are compared to, their tax rate is the lowest. One of the lowest is number 14 out of 16. So some of the challenges is maybe DIS is not even collecting enough money to, to run the program because it's an urban school district. And so my thing again is that we need to embrace it because the reputation of DISD affects the reputation of the city. But it's an urban school district and it cannot be compared to you know, some other school districts that are not urban in nature. I read a book, Chances of a Lifetime, written by Warren Christopher, you know, Secretary of State under Clinton. And he said, when he sought somebody to be his mentor, he said, no, 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 I can't mentor you. I don't know what I mean. What my life has been is not going to be yours. But this is what I'll tell you. Jump into the, the stream of history and swim as fast as you can. And that's what we need to tell our, our Dallas citizens. Come from the east, west, south, downtown, whatever. Participate. Show up. What can a mayor and what do you plan to do as mayor to improve education? I've created a, 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 a tenant that we've got to create a whole new organization in infrastructure that has not existed to this date for the city to assist DISD. Uh, Mike Moses and Tom Luce are going to be on my team and uh, we have uh, got to impact policy and funding at the state level. The urban mayors have never gotten together and, and dealt with this issue in, in Austin. Uh, between Dallas, Fort Worth, and Houston, we are over 50% of the population. We are an urban state now, and, and, and Austin's got to realize that. The mayors that, that deal with DISD have never gotten together, so I'm creating a mayor's task force there. We are also going to be able to leverage the hundreds of organizations that want to work with DISD and lift them up, and the thousands of people. I was in a church in, in the southern sector uh, the other day and the preacher asked for ev all the men to come forth that would help and volunteer at DISD and there were hundreds of them and I said how is DISD going to solve this? The mayor can create an organization that can plug and play much more efficiently than DISD could ever imagine. And then lastly we need to measure, hold people accountable and market better. Uh, I come from the marketing background. We need to tell the DISD's uh, success stories better. Um, and DISD has, has not really been uh, had the money or the effort there. Some of these programs already exist, so the mayor can use his influence to pull them together, work with the Greater Dallas Chamber uh, and uh, other organizations to make this a reality. Would that be an ACM, assistant city manager, or would you a new hire, or think, some you know education czar within mm -hmm. your office? Or? I think that this needs to be a public-private organization, something that is outside of city hall, but has the the mayor's power and uh, uh, organizational clout, uh, and we need to have city council involved. I, I realized that the city council and the board of trustees never get together to talk. Anything we do is going gonna, is gonna to help them, and that's what uh, we need to lift them up, hold them accountable, and make our schools a success because we won't be a great city without a great public school system.